So I just picked up this cheap 1998 Ford Explorer. It's a good car, it's got a couple of suspension problems. And as you can see, the body rolls like the Mexican letter R, and it sounds a whole lot like maracas going over bumps. I found the problem to be these sway bar end links, uh, pieces of metal connecting the control arm to the sway bar. Now, new bushings and links are about 20 bucks, but that's just too much, man, so I'm going to see if I can figure something out myself. Replacing the money I save on the part with gasoline, I go to the next city over to find a hardware store. A standard home improvement center of no particular brand. I know that whatever I'm going to rig up isn't going to fit perfectly, so I'm going to need spacers and lots of them. I picked up these 3 8 inch washers and a couple more of these half inch washers to butt up against my bushings that I'm making out of rubber. I find the rubber bushings in the specialty section. I was going to use those rubber drain plugs you use for PVC, but instead I found these guys that come in packs of two and already have holes drilled in them. I need eight of these. Back to my kitchen floor, I've got all the hardware and the parts I need. I've taken the end link off, and you can see where my bushings will go with the sway bar and the control arm between each set. Now for some quick one-handed disassembly, it comes apart with just one bolt unscrewed on the end. And here is where our jury-rigged bushings come together. Now each one is going to be made of the small 3 8 inch washers, the larger half-inch washers, and then the rubber bushings. Now you may need to edit exactly how many washers you need to get it to fit your particular end link, but this should be the same on most cars. You can see what this looks like here, and I have the finished product. I've installed four of them with the main spacers installed in between them. You can see the gap where the control arm and the sway bar link go. Now a problem I knew I'd have is that my bushings aren't as big as the stock bushings. So, I need a spacer. I use this trusty, high tensile steel, purpose-made, three-quarter inch spacer from Pittsburgh to get everything to fit perfectly. Slides on like so, with the washer behind it. It's a pretty straightforward install, putting pegs and holes. I would have filmed the assembly process for you, but I've only got two hands. And no friends. The truck handles great now like a sports car. Honda S2000, Mazda RX-6, 3-6 double R.